During the week, Zhang Xingsheng works as a massage therapist, but it's his Saturday routine that gets him going. Zhang travels two hours from his home to Beijing. He is blind, so navigating the subway means relying on his cane and a phone app that dictates directions. But the final destination is all worth it, this darkened 20 square meter space transporting him to another world. Zhang and a group of his friends are here for a film screening at the Xingmu Theater, the first of its kind in China, catering to blind and partially sighted audiences. It feels like I can watch the film despite being blind. And he can, thanks to a special narrator in the audience, Wang Weili, the founder of this cinema. We film narrators must have a script. You need to write down the description, narrations, and even the comments of the film scenes between the dialogues. Wang watches a film at least six times beforehand, writing his own detailed script. During showtime, he describes what the actors are doing, their facial gestures, their emotions. It's so clear before my eyes and in my heart because they describe the scenes and plots of the film very clearly, such as facial expressions, crying, laughter, or the characters raising their hands. The narrations can be challenging, especially when there are elements not always tangible for viewers. You feel that? For the screening of Jurassic Park, for instance, Wong had audience members hold dinosaur models to get a feel of what was projected on the big screen. But it was another film that first inspired the theater in 2005. The 1984 sci-fi blockbuster The Terminator. Wong narrated the action movie to a blind friend who became so excited, sweat poured from his forehead. We have screened almost 1,000 films so far. Many cinemas in other cities of China are learning from Xinmu to narrate films for the blind. We really hope to promote this practice to other countries. The theater partners with larger cinemas for screenings. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it introduced a streaming service with recorded audio narrations. Some in the community say these tailored cultural activities are badly needed in China where according to the China Association for the Blind, more than 17 million people are visually impaired. For this group, it's a rare chance to be part of the world's biggest box office and take something away after the show's over. I was very timid before, but watching different kinds of films helps me become more optimistic and strong-minded. What's more important is that I can get in touch with more people, like the media, the volunteers, and other blind friends. I can have more chances to get involved in society. Francis Coe, CGTN.